uh, a couple of years back, we got to interview John, uh, Dylan Jones, who uh, wrote about the Blitz kids. Is that were you a Blitz kid? Did you consider yourself a Blitz kid? Was that uh, or that's mean? I, I was a bit. I'm a bit too old to be a Blitz kid. Although I did go down there, and the guy who started the whole Blitz thing was a guy called Rusty Egan, who was the drummer in my band, The Rich Kids. It's kind of funny, there, there was a um, thing on just over Christmas, like a documentary about the Blitz kids scene. And one of the running commentaries is how, um, uh, what do they call Spandau Ballet, were getting it together to do a gig. But by the time they finally get it together and do a gig, they've had clips of me and other bands. And I've been in three bands by the time. <laughs> But yeah, it was quite a good scene, you know, and um, lots of people did quite well on the, the spin-off from that. And all these people in London, they all kind of know each other, you know, if you're on a certain standard. Gary oh. Gary Camp, from, um, who was a Blitzkid guy, um, he actually played with my band, The Rich Kids. He stood in for the guitarist, Steve New, who passed away. And maybe my band, The Rich Kids, was like a bridgehead between punk and the whole New Ryan set thing, because Rusty and Mijur did a side project with a guy called Steve Strange, which became Visage, and it kind of took off. It kind of broke the band up, really. But um, there you go. What will be, will be. This so, is the whole, you know, the whole I don't really have you guys down as Blitz kid types but maybe you were uh, well it was because we we got to talk to dylan jones and so that's kind of been our bible lately whenever we talked we got to talk to gary kemp and you know a, a few others so we're, we're we're starting to uh get to get kind of a, a nice education about that scene oh okay cool yeah it was important you know it was important for a lot of music that came out yeah, for us, that's our... Creators, you know, and it gave Bowie a whole different take on things, I think. You know, he had lots of those people in his Ashes to Ashes video. But about a year and a half ago, I went to see a movie, which I'd never heard before, a black and white French movie called uh, Qui et vous, Polly Magoo, right? Which is a French kind of, It's about the most French movie I've ever, ever seen. Um... And it's about an Amer supposedly American supermodel in Paris in the 60s who's called Polly Magoo. Who are you, Polly Magoo? And she gets followed around by a team of TV press to find out who the real Polly Magoo is. But you got to see this movie. I, I'm the, writing it down. <laughs> the visual is fantastic. And there's loads of stuff in it that Bowie nicked for the Ashes to Ashes video. It's, it's, it's like a Mickey take of the, the fashion world and what was going on. So, yeah, check that one out. Kia Vu Polly Magoo. Um, I think Dave will be on that one tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You got, I got a homework assignment.